Hey guys, so this is a get ready with me video, but I decided to do something different this time around. Instead of just playing music through this video, I am going to be updating you guys on my pregnancy. So this has been highly requested and I haven't been able to sit down and film a video because I have lots of house renovations going on and during the day it's just too noisy to do any kind of talk through videos or anything like that. So. I decided to let you guys watch me put on some makeup but also update you guys on my pregnancy so yesterday was my 38 week OB appointment and everything went well all my appointments have gone very well up until this point and this one was no exception baby's heart rate was 140 and it was very strong said the OB the head's been down for a while and baby actually dropped between weeks 36 and 37 and this appointment my doctor informed me that the baby is well down there which doesn't surprise me because I've been getting really sharp stabbing pains in what feels like my cervix but that's just baby pushing down or otherwise known as lightning crotch and it is very uncomfortable to say the least uh, the night before my appointment I had really uncomfortable sleep I was probably up every hour uh, waking up just from the pain of it but it's been manageable and I can't really complain so nothing too too bad for me so far my back has been acting up I actually went off work at week 26 because I was having really bad sciatica so currently I'm on short-term disability and then I'll be going on mat leave in Canada we do get a year paid of mat leave so I will be taking the full year and I'm gonna be working it out with my husband so that he gets some time off too, probably like two or three months. So we're hoping that he gets the time off in the summer, so that's how we're trying to plan it. Currently, I have gained 38 pounds, which is kind of a lot. I know that the range is like between 25 and 35 pounds I was supposed to gain, and I'm already a little bit over, but I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be in target range by the time that I do give birth, just because my water fluctuates so much my water weight or whatever so that contributes to how much I weigh at each appointment and I can fluctuate like a good six pounds so it could go down and I'm sure it will and I am just trying to take it easy for the next little bit because I know baby is going to be coming soon I have this feeling that baby is going to come at the end of November probably the last day and my due date is actually December 5th if you don't already know and I keep saying baby because I have not found out the sex of my baby so it's going to be a surprise and I cannot wait to see if it's going to be little prince or princess and all this time I've been thinking I'm having a boy so I would actually be really surprised if it was a girl because all this time I've thought a boy and so has my husband but I would be so happy to have a little girl if that were to be the case or a little boy so that's why I didn't bother finding out because I could really care less if it's a boy or girl and I find it easier just to plan uh, gender neutral because I do plan on having another child in the future and it just helps for nursery and clothes and stuff that I can just reuse for the next baby. So my pregnancy has been really really good and in the beginning uh, it was probably the hardest, I'd say the first trimester was adjusting just to all the new hormones and everything like that. And at the beginning my family doctor thought that I had a heart murmur which is actually pretty common in pregnancy but uh, that wasn't the case. I went and got an echocardiogram and my heart is fine but it wouldn't have been too big of a deal if I did have one because your body is pumping a lot of blood and it's just easier to hear the sounds through your arteries and things like that and the holes just become amplified so if you do end up having a heart murmur don't worry about it uh, I wasn't too concerned if I was gonna have one or not I didn't end up having gestational diabetes or anything like that so everything has been good blood pe pressure good urine samples good everything has just been really really good so that's why I haven't done too many updates actually none I did a couple blog posts but really everything has just been really really good <laughs> so uh, I am kind of scared about labor to be completely honest um, I have no idea what to expect I expect the worst and I do have a birth plan but 
I'm very, very flexible. So if it doesn't end up being exactly how I planned, uh, I won't be too concerned. I just want a healthy baby and I'm gonna put uh, myself in the hands of my doctor and just hope for the best. But I do plan on having a natural birth. I do not want to use an epidural or the use of any kind of narcotic like morphine or anything like that. So that's gonna be really tough. So I'm really concerned about the pain, but I feel as though I have a really high pain tolerance. So. I think I can get through it. I just think uh, a lot of people have given birth in the past. It's been going on forever and ever, even before epidurals. And other women have gotten through it, so I'll be able to get through it as well. But I'm definitely scared of when that's going to happen. But other than that, I'm trying to take it easy. And in the last couple weeks, uh, just not do too much. So. It was kind of an effort to get ready. I was getting ready to go out with my friends today for lunch and it's probably one of the last times I will see them before I have the baby because I honestly think it's going to be pretty soon but most uh, first time pregnancies go over but I do think I'm going to be before my due date so that's just my intuition but if you have any more questions in regards to my pregnancy or anything like that definitely uh, message me on Twitter, Facebook, you can leave a comment here and I will try and get back to those as best as I can. And I did also film a nursery tour because I wanted to get that up before I gave birth. So that should be up uh, pretty soon. I just have to edit it but I know a lot of you have been asking to see my nur nursery as well. So that should be up uh, the next video. So that's about it. Um, pregnancy has been easier than I ever imagined. I was never sick one day and I felt really good throughout most of my pregnancy. Uh, as I said, the first trimester was probably the hardest, but that was just adjusting. But yeah, look at how big my belly is. It's like crazy. When I look at the video, like just from a couple weeks ago, you can tell that my belly has dropped. It just looks like it has changed dramatically. At least I can tell. but. I'm hoping that baby comes soon because it is getting quite uncomfortable to sleep. I do have good and bad days for sleep, but majority of the time I am sleeping pretty well and I'm not working so I really can't complain because I don't really have to do anything. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be seeing you in my next one. Bye.